Bangladeshi doctor now living uh, and working in the UK. T tell us how that happened. After I finished my studies as a medical student and I was working at Dhaka Medical College and Hospital, I applied for a master's at Oxford. So it was in evidence-based healthcare. That's a subject I have been passionate about. So, um, and Oxford provided world-leading education on that subject. Applied, got in, and then I came here, but I also uh, took the license to practice as a doctor in the UK. So that kind of gave me the freedom to also work as a doctor so to continue my clinical practice while I studied the subject that I wanted to. Um, so yeah, that's how. <clears throat> have you found that you have made lots of British English uh, friends or are they international or um, Deshi friends? Uh, how have you sort of uh, managed to find friends? I've been quite fortunate in that uh, I've been exposed to multicultural environments, both at work in the hospital. So I work in the NHS. So NHS employs people from many different nationalities. But over there, uh, I actually, so the area I work in, there's not a lot of Bangladeshi doctors or healthcare professionals. So it's mostly people from different areas, from uh, different countries of Europe, from the US, Philippines, Thailand, India, there are a lot of Indians as well. So that's work and uh, at Oxford as well. So uh, actually interestingly, uh, in my last semester, there was, so one of our teachers showed a map of um, the world map of where students come from and study that course. And it was like there were uh, people from all over the world except for Antarctica. Um, so, so truly, I mean, I have been exposed to people from different cultures, different nationalities, and I have been able to form networks from so, I mean, with uh, people from so many diverse backgrounds, and that has really helped shape my perspective. Another aspect of, of studying and living in the UK, um, obviously, when, when you shift countries, mm -hmm. uh, you face new challenges um, as, as someone from a, a foreign country, moving into a foreign country. How have you dealt with, with that? Have, what have you found as the sort of highlights? And what, tell us about some of the lowlights as well, some of the challenges and problems that you face. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so one of the biggest challenges that I faced when I came here first was the weather. So I came here during a harsh winter and I was on my own. I didn't have my partner with me then. Um, and the winters here are very, um, very dark in terms of, so the days are very short, the nights are long, you almost don't see any sun. Um, and I was on my own, so it was very difficult and I was feeling low, but I, I, I couldn't put a finger on it. And then it took me a while to realize, oh, okay, it's, um, I'm feeling homesick, but it's also the weather is not helping things. So um, as time passed, I realized that if I uh, have friends and spend time with them, that kind of combats the depressing effects of the weather. So I think that, I mean, we, we don't experience winter like this in Bangladesh. So it's cold and rainy and no sun. So that, that was a big challenge, adapting to the weather and um, its effects on the mood. So that's something um, to think about, but as time passes and as you form friends, as you get a network and you spend time with them, it gets easier. The other thing I think um, that was challenging for me was trying to find Bangladeshi food and cuisine in the UK. So um, I, um, I think British food is great, David. I have no qualms with it, but um, it doesn't always cater to my taste. And when you're feeling homesick and you don't, you're not with your own people, you're not with your friends. So a taste of local food is um, can really lift your mood. Please subscribe my YouTube channel. Is video like, share, comment.